Hey guys, welcome to Plant Based Homestead Prepper, where we make prepping fun. <clears throat> In this big deal, we are continuing continuing our series on how to prep on five dollars a week. So we're walking into this store right now, and we'll see you on the inside. All the I know it's backwards, but hopefully I can change it. <laughs> see you on the inside. Hey guys, it's Jennifer Chappelle with Heart Speak Warriors Forum. I hope you're enjoying all of the edutainment that you're getting right here on Plant Based Homestead Prepper with my honey, Roderick Chappelle. When you're done, pop over to my channel at Heart Speak Warriors Forum, where we will take ordinary people and listen to their extraordinary stories. Hope to see you guys there. All right, so as soon as you walk in, you see that the banana, bananas, bananas have been reduced drastically. Oranges are back down to normal price. Last week they were like four dollars and some change. <clears throat> Pineapples around about two dollars, which is where I like to pay for them or less. Uh, we're not buying any fresh produce this week because we are actually fasting. So, like I said, this is going to be a prep on five dollar um, type. Okay, so we don't want to buy any nuts because that will totally blow our budget right there. But that's a good prep item, all right? Great preps. Another great little great snack to have right here. Um, now they're going to perish. They're going to go bad. But crackers, oh my God, you can eat those things just by themselves. <clears throat> Let's see if they have any guac today. Looks like they have some. Let's walk over here and see. All right, and I noticed this weekend when I went to go make me a peanut butter and jelly sandwich that we were running low on jelly. All right, so here we are back on the chip aisle and the sauces, okay? So for our $5 preps a day, we're gonna actually pick up something that we actually do need, which is some more jelly. Okay, prep alert. <clears throat> I'm gonna always tell you guys peanut butter. I'm gonna grab a, a jar of jelly <clears throat> uh, and I love preserve. I love things that are in glass bottles. Okay, see that's glass. That's an awesome prep uh, right there. But that's not that important. We're gonna grab some. Oh God, we got corn and beans like crazy. So let's do. Um, let's see what we got here. This is a huge can, 170 calories, six servings per can. That's a huge can. Uh, 28. This is a pound, one pound, 12 ounces of baked beans. So that's not bad. Okay, not bad at all. So if you wanted to do, you could do five of these. Okay, that'll keep you. That'll get you at five. Um, at five dollars, and that would feed six servings. So I mean literally if let's say you, let's say you was going to try to make it on a thousand calories a day uh two cans of these would definitely do it yeah definitely would do it so that's 12 times 170 yeah that'd be way low over a thousand so um two cans of those a day would do it for you and you see at a dollar 25 that's 250 you would be good to go all right but we're going to grab I keep I keep trying to stock up on these potatoes. These potatoes are 48 cents a can, so we're gonna grab some of these. All right, <clears throat> we're gonna grab some potatoes. Actually, you know what? We're just gonna put those back. We're just gonna grab the whole one, two, three. Nah, we're not gonna grab a whole case of them. I'm gonna grab. So that's a dollar. That's two dollars. Okay. And I don't have a whole bunch of carrots. So that's three dollars. Okay. Three dollars there. And then let's do four dollars. How about that? So we got that's about five bucks. So we got about four dollars worth of canned goods and a dollar dollar twenty-nine for jelly. So we're gonna be just over five bucks, okay? Let's go over here and see what else we got. Hi, I'm Christina. Where we explore preparing for the last days through Bible prophecy and current news. Now, back to plant-based homestead prepper. 
All right, I always show you guys a good prep alert, which is spaghetti, especially if you vacuum seal that stuff. All right, and here is they have. Okay, they got my they got my glass jars today, which I'm always excited about. All right, I'm always looking for these. They have this stuff. Um, in guy, they used to put this in glass jars. Is this a glass? No, that's plastic. That's plastic. That's a dollar eighty nine. That's organic, so that's some really good stuff right there. Um, but for preps, okay, that's in a glass jar too. But for preps, you can't beat eighty five cents for sauce. Okay. Uh, box of noodles. I think those are two pound boxes for a dollar thirty nine. So what else? We got some black soybean spaghetti, parmesan. That's really not that important right now. Okay, so if we were gonna go ravioli and stuff, you can get two cans of ravioli for roughly uh, 59 cents. Mashed potatoes, another good prep alert. Top ramen. Uh, chicken noodle soup, 49 cents a can. Mushroom, 49. Let's just say 50. That makes it easier, okay? And then you got your canned meats. Canned meats, 66 cents for tuna. Sardines, 89 cents. Corned beef hash, all right? So, I always check the avocado price. And then the eight avocados, they don't sell again this week for 95 cents. All right, let's go to the other item, to the baked, baked goods item aisle, baked goods aisle. And let's see what, um, see what the baked goods look like. Passing, we're passing some rice. Okay, so let's see what the rice is looking at. Dollar fifteen for three pounds. <laughs> Excuse me. Uh, five pounds for three thirty-nine, but that's not the white rice. Let's go over here. Of course, we got spices last week. For those that watched that video, here's some pancake mix, some condensed milk, evaporated milk, blah blah blah. Okay, some flour and some sugar. We're gonna grab a bag of flour. Cause this is something that we can we can store away we can vacuum seal that real good that's 99 cents okay we're gonna go over five dollars a day and then here's some sugar and this is these are gonna be good trade items for us all right very good trade items excellent trade items so we're gonna go we're gonna be about seven dollars today so I'll show you guys outside Hey, this is Roderick Chappelle for Plant Based Homestead Prepper, where we make prepping fun. Hey, I stopped at this store and got this cool Halloween mask. Look at this thing. It's got long hair. It's got a beard of a white guy. Man, this is scary, man. And uh, look here. It even looks real. So, uh, but anyway, this is uh, actually Paul from Off Grid Desert Farm with Paul and Adrian, and uh, we're working together with uh, with Roderick's channel to uh, to get things going. So, uh, if y'all have time, stop by our channel, check it out. But uh, just wanted to do a little intro for uh, for the Plant Based Homestead Prepper. We we make prepping fun, guys. So uh, they do have this mask at your local store, probably, or maybe on America's Most Wanted. But anyway. <laughs> Y'all guys have fun, and we'll see you later. Bye-bye. All right, so we are walking out of Aldi, making our $5 a week run. And I think we end up getting seven cans, various cans of potatoes, carrots, and... Dang, I can't remember what it's like. I think I got just potatoes and carrots today. And we got um, a bag of flour and a bag of sugar. And this bag is pretty heavy too. You know, what? I, one thing I hadn't been doing is keeping up with the pounds that we've been getting. So I'm going to show you guys this, okay? Welcome to Plant Based Homestead Prepper. I am Grim from Grim Survival, where we talk about SHTF scenarios, food shortages, things I see while driving this thing, and solar minimums, among many other things. But back to your regular scheduled program. Cue the intro. Welcome to our channel. Watch this video. All right, so you see the receipt, $7.68. And let's look at poundage wise. So flour. We got five pounds of flour, we got four pounds of sugar. 
each can of carrots are 15 ounces so that's right under a pound of carrots and then each can of potatoes are 15 ounces and then let me see how much jelly weighs 30 ounces so what's that roughly 5, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, about 18 pounds of food right there for for $7. Now, I know, you know, you can't really count the jelly, but you can count the flour and sugar because you can make, you know, you can make pancakes, you can make bread, you can make things out of, um, here comes a crazy person, y'all. Here comes a very crazy person. You ready? Boom, right there. Definitely can take, you know, take the flour and the sugar, sorry about that, and you can make things out of it. And you can also take the canned goods, you can eat them out, out of the can straight up, which are foods that I like to get, like to prep. And you can combine them and, uh, and make, you know, different things together. So, there you have it. Now, we went over about $2.00. But you see that you and you and if you did this every week, just think if you didn't went and did this every week, and, and that's all you had was five bucks. I mean, that's seven cans right there. If you did that every week, that's twenty eight cans in a month. In ten months, you got two hundred eighty cans, right? That's I mean, that's a lot of food. If you can do ten dollars a week, then you just double it. If you can do twenty, then you quadruple it, or times four. Is that right? Anyway. <laughs> Thank y'all for being here. Love you so much. Remember to subscribe. I don't know where it is, but hit the subscribe button and then make sure you watch the next video too, okay? All right, guys. Thank you. Take care.